We're about to go on holiday. Normally we'd be jetting off to Canary Islands or some Greek island or something nice. Something nice, as though we're going somewhere horrible. Or well, we might be going somewhere horrible. <laughs> like most Brits, staycation is in order, which means staying in this country and avoiding all of the COVID uh, risks. We've left it pretty late to book anywhere. So it's a case of seeing what we could get. The hotel we booked is one of the most expensive in the area and it's run by a pretty good chain. But uh, I did look up the hotel yesterday on TripAdvisor and the reviews had taken a turn for the worse, which doesn't fill me with much confidence. So we're gonna jump in the car, head on uh, to our destination and um, see what we've got. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? If it comes to it, if it comes to it, we can always check out and go get another hotel, yeah. uh, even a holiday in. But I'm, I'm confident, I'm confident that it's not going to be that bad and uh, we're going we're gonna to have a good time. So after four hours of traveling, we finally got to our luxury four-star hotel. There was a bit of a surprise at check-in, which we'll get onto later, but first it was time to check in to the room. First down a few stairs. So far so good. Looks pretty nice. And into the deluxe wing corridor. I don't know what all those reviews are complaining about. The decor is fine. Oh. Oh. Um, up some more stairs again. And this is us. So let's see what we've got. Luxury, here we come. was an experience <laughs> so on first checking in we immediately got told that we could only have breakfast at 7 a.m because everything else was overbooked so i was like their uh, breakfast <laughs> facilities are not big enough since when do the uh do you check into a posh hotel and and anyway so then we went for dinner <laughs> <laughs> that was a nightmare. We didn't bother with the brasserie. We went to the garden bar thinking it would be relatively quick service. The waitress came over, took our drinks order and wandered away. Probably about 10-15 minutes passed, nothing arrived. And then she came back again and asked how our drinks were. We said we hadn't had them. So she took the order again, gave her the same drinks order and she wandered away. I started joking to Farrah that the lady probably didn't even work there. She was just running around pretending. And then probably another 10 minutes passed, do you think? Yeah. I didn't ask for one. Oh yeah. Stop it. No. Another, another 10 minutes. And then a waiter came over and actually took our drinks order again. And we explained that the lady had been <laughs> twice to order our drinks and uh, that she'd probably put them through. And he looked at us and said that she probably hasn't. 
How do you give the same drinks order three times and still not get your drink? Wednesday at this hotel. So he took our drinks order a third time and then we eventually got our drinks. And we did get our food and the food actually was pretty good. Fat and Farrell wasn't keen on a pizza. So I had a burger which was uh, pretty good and Kevin Michelle's mum had a curry which was pretty spicy but also pretty good. The puddings were okay uh, and at the end of the meal we did double check the bill just to see how many drinks we were, we were paid for and it was a, a double charge which we uh, had to get corrected for our phantom drinks. So far it, it, it is an experience, probably not too happy. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? You just didn't seem happy when we checked in. I think it was a crusty, dusty, musty. I'm not expecting what? to sound give, give, give us your raw, candid thoughts on this hotel so far. First of all, you told me I had a one star review. <laughs> There's a huge cobweb next to my head. There is a huge cobweb. There was a dead spider on the floor. There's crust on the floor. There's all sorts of ugh, everywhere. <laughs> Dust everywhere. Um, I'm not surprised if I found a bug in the floor. So not bad, really. So I'm not taking my socks off. <laughs> the only time I'm switching the floor is with my socks on. So in the morning, we've got to get up early for breakfast. Um, otherwise, you don't get a breakfast, even though you paid for it. That's just outrageous uh, but we have got a sensible time for the rest of the week we'll check in probably in the morning if for breakfast dead. if you're not dead morning looks a little bit overcast probably been raining by the look of that let's hope it brightens up so it's 7 a.m. I'm going to go get this early morning breakfast. Um, didn't have a bad night actually, the beds were really comfy. But we have had one problematic thing this morning. <laughs> I've forgotten to pack any underwear. Um, it's not good. I'm going to have to go find a department store or something. Otherwise, we're going to have a, a very problematic week. Sometimes when you can't remember your way to reception. <laughs> Well, today's the day that we find out whether I like my mate. I need to just, some, there wasn't, I don't think there's really enough. Even though he hurts, it he's going again. Oh. Smell it, what does it smell like? Yeah, it's not enjoyable. It's not horrible. But it's not, I don't love it or hate it, am I in the minority? Yeah. 